Hi, it's Megan. So I went to IMATS in Pasadena for the first time this year and there was this huge long line which was just like a non-starter for me. I just am not really in any line that long. But I was curious to see who it was. It was Lime Crime and there were all these girls, most of whom were young enough to be my daughter quite frankly. And I thought, hmm, it looks really interesting but I'm not waiting in this line. So I checked online and I saw that a lot of the lipsticks were sold out. And then they also have some great eyeshadows and eyeliners and stuff, but I guess at this point I'm kind of, I like color a lot on the eyes. I'm kind of colored out for this week, so there have been a lot of kind of colorful palettes lately. And I have gotten some of them. Let me just check the camera. So I did get curious about the Lime Crime lipsticks, just because I have a thing for unicorns. What can I say? and they have a unicorn on all their packaging and then also I'm a girl and even though all those girls were young enough to be my daughter I still saw a line and then sold out and I wanted it so I ordered a couple of the Lime, Cli Lime Crime Opaque Lipsticks this is what it looks like according to Lime, Cli Lime Crime, I can't even pronounce it, they are bold, opaque, recklessly loaded with pigment for lips that speak louder than words and there's been a little controversy about Lime Crime. It happened before I was aware of the brand, and I have to say, both corporations and people make mistakes, and I haven't seen any um, controversy lately, so I'm assuming if something happened, it's been fixed, and all's good, but if I never made a mistake, I don't know what I would say. So I have outdoor swatches, because I like to see the colors in the outdoor light. This right here on my lips, love it or hate it, is Babette. So it looks like this. These are $16 and they are, I'm not seeing the ounces listed. Yeah, I do. 0.12 ounce. So that's about average. Lipsticks usually range 0.08 to like 0.13. So this is average to high. So this is what it looks like. And this is a pastel coral. I will say Lime Crime's descriptions, in my opinion, are spot on. I, uh, it is a pastel coral. It's very opaque. I get really great coverage. I did two of the lighter colors and two of the darker colors. The lighter colors, I don't get any staining. The darker colors, I do get staining, particularly with Poisonberry, which comes later. The one thing about this, because it is so opaque, is I really have to dry out my lips inside and then apply it here. Otherwise I get, because my lips are very pigmented, I get kind of this darker look on the inner part, which looks a little odd. So I have to be really careful with the application, but it's not like it's splotchy or doesn't apply well. It's just that because it's so opaque, you want to be, I want to be really careful that I get a full coverage. I don't have any problems with my top lip kind of fading. And I have to say, I grew up in California, kind of Southern California, Northern California, I went to Pepperdine for college, which is right on the beach. So I had this fondness for my Malibu Barbie doll when I was growing up. This lip and the next one to me are like Malibu, actually the first three are Malibu Barbie colors, if that makes any sense for those of you too young to see the doll or even the reissued doll. She had like a turquoise eyeshadow, really dark tan, really blonde hair, and then these kind of like, this lips, kind of a neon pastel, that surfer, uh, sun balm lip thing going on. For me it's fun. For me it's fun. Yeah. Everyone else can decide for themselves whether they like the look or not, but I think it's kind of fun. I can't wear it with everything. I really have to play up my eyes a little bit. Um, otherwise I look odd and I probably can't wear it everywhere, but I think it's a fun look. The next one I have is Coquette, which is a pale peachy nude. And I'm going to take these off on camera and change them on camera. I have really pigmented lips. And someone had pointed out earlier in another video that it would be really nice to see what my lips look so that they would know how it would impact theirs. I think these are super opaque, which means that my natural lip color, which as you can see is way darker than the lipstick, is not having a huge impact on the lipstick color. So this is the next one, which is Coquette. And I'll compare it. So it's like a peach. This is the first one, Babette. This is Coquette. It's a much more of a suntan kind of a look. I 
I don't know. I've read, read mixed reviews of some people just loving these and some people hating them. I think they apply really well. They're a super creamy formula. Um, again, because they're opaque, you have to be a little bit more careful and making sure you get an even application, but I think they're a great formula. I don't have any problems with the formula at all. They last about three hours on me, which is pretty much average, and they fade nicely. They fade evenly, um, depending on the color, obviously, but I really don't have anything bad to say about these. As much as I read a couple bad reviews, I, I really like them. And again, you get this cute little unicorn packaging. My unicorn's all mixed up. Someone said in one review that they couldn't walk around with packaging like this. I totally can walk around with packing, packaging like this. And if my kids don't like it, sorry, but I like unicorns. So this is the color. I would put a gloss on this one. It, um, I don't want to say it washes me out. It definitely meets my lip color. But with a brighter eye, like I have right here, it's fine. I like it a lot, actually. I think it's a really cool color. It's number two. Again, it's a Malibu Barbie look. That kind of, I don't know. Malibu Barbie look. The next one is Geradium. And this is the one that I guess didn't sell as much as the other three. This is Geradium. But given the time of year, this is a coral pink that's so intense it just might be radioactive. It's right there. I just think it's a fun color for summer. It's probably going to look a lot better on me when I have a tan. I think all of these are going to look better on me when I have a tan. I just need to my... Uh... I need my teeth. Again, this is uh, a bright color. Not everyone's going to love it. You can't wear it everywhere. I think it's really pretty. And it does... The formula applies evenly. So Lime Crime also has the blues, the yellows, the black, you know, the crazy colors that... I think they have a green too. Yeah, they do. Um, so can you wear it above a certain age? I don't know. You tell me. And I would love a comment on that, by the way. My kids are going to be like, oh my god, I can't believe she did that video. How could she say that? But that's fine. I just won't show them the video. Okay, so this is... Uh, Geradium. And then the next one. Poisonberry. Bright berry purple with snake-like sheen. This one scared me. I This one went in and out of my basket like more times than I want to talk about. So this is what it looks like. A very vivid color. And that snake-like sheen thing, like what does that mean? Again, I have to be really careful with these because they are so opaque to dry off that inner part of my lip so that the color covers the entire lip. And I'm still only so expert with applying things within the lines on camera. So these, again, it's a, I think it's an amazing formula. It's super creamy. It applies really evenly if you're careful. That's what they call snake-like sheen, which I can see. It's kind of fun. It's a more wearable color, color than I expected. Um, when I saw Charlotte Beer speak last week, she was the head of Ogilvy & Mather, and she's like this you know, groundbreaking woman who broke glass ceilings. She said to learn how to speak, you should read poets. And I would say that about this brand. Um, you know, a snake like Sheen, what great marketing. So I got a cute little package, right like this, with this bright green. And I guess I lost my receipt, but my receipt was a uh, bright pink. It's kind of fun. So, you know what? I like this brand of lipsticks. I haven't tried the other products, but I'm really happy with them. Is it age appropriate? I think so. And maybe given that I live in Southern California now, where we get away with more, or think we get away with more, maybe I'm biased. But I think this is a really fun brand, and I, I really like these lipsticks. I love the formula, and I like the colors. Comments, feedback, other colors. I would love to hear what people have to say. Should I get some of the eyeshadows and try them, or are we kind of like done with these pastel things for a little while on the eyes? Um, the eyeliners, those are pretty great too. I love suggestions. 
and comments and please subscribe and then I also do a, a novel called Masks on YouTube chapter by chapter. It's about makeup and the masks we wear and then I do videos for my book Get Your Child to the Top which is a parent focused education book and I think that's it. Thanks. Thank you.